Floppy Cat subscribers, today we're doing the final review video for the Hagen Cadet Cabrio Pet Carrier. We've had it for quite some time actually, but um, I wanted to go to the vet with it to see how it held up. Um, Charlie and Trig, I don't take on airplanes even though... <laughs> what makes you scared in the ears? <laughs> What the heck, man? That was very bizarre. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, airlines. Um, we don't go on airplanes, so I, I can't test it that way. And um, I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with it for airline use anyway. I, I've read reviews online, and I've read... Uh, they're just mixed reviews, totally mixed reviews. It doesn't seem to have... Um, like some people said that airlines require everything to be bolted and screwed, um, which this carrier does not. It, it's all plastic parts that are connected, so nothing is bolted or screwed. And um, but regardless, I would be looking for a carrier for um, trips to the vet or trips back and forth um, to my family's lake house for example like that those are the kind of things so that's that um and this is just a bed that i put in all of my carriers so the cabrio our um, arrival video will show how it comes to get comes to you in the mail if you get it through the mail and I will um, include a link to that in the about section below. But basically, um, you know, of course you have your instruction manual and it tells you how to put it together. So these are the pieces. I didn't find it difficult to put together at all, but um, some folks complained about that on reviews that I read online. And then other people said it's super simple to put together. So one of the cool things about this carrier in addition to the door. So there's a couple of things with the door that I liked. Um, I'm going to put Charlie inside so I can show you. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but he's he's in there. Um, so most carriers that I'm familiar with, hard carriers, are um, they have a metal door, and then that allows the cat to claw and scratch at it. But with this one, they can't do that. And also, it comes with this little food dish, which is removable, and the removable part is great not only for extra space for the cat, because it was actually bumping into that pad today, but, you know, this pad is just one I threw in there. It doesn't, no, don't scratch. Um, no, 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 don't, it's like nails on a chalkboard. Wubby boo! <laughs> <laughs> or they can be remove the food dish and and play with your kitty. <laughs> um, um, it's washable and then also you can um, make make more space for your cat. So that's the food dish thing. The door just opens like this and then um, you have to op you have to pull the latch for it to latch back down. So you can't. I mean you can force it, but it's a lot easier just to latch it back like that. Okay, and um, also you can kind of poke through here <laughs> if you want. Uh, and Charlie is almost 14 pounds. He's 13 pounds something. Um, but, you know, he is a lot bigger than size-wise than the 13 pounds. Um, <laughs> the shoulder strap is getting, getting that caught. Okay, there we go. So this is great because it allows a vet to have full entire access to your cat. Some people were mentioning online that they like this because they can put their cat in there and then close it up um, more easily that way. And the closing up part is probably one of the more difficult things about this carrier. Um, it kind of requires some finagling. So I've got the um, shoulder strap stuck in there right now. but. So obviously you want the the female side down first, and then you get the male in. There we go. And then you just 
clip on the, what are these things called? <laughs> you clip these things down and then, um, and then the carrier is all together. So when I took it to the vet today, I really found that this shoulder strap was awesome because um, I was carrying trig carrier in a hand, then I had my purse and I had the shoulder strap. So it allowed me to have one free hand to open the door into the vet. Usually I have to put a carrier down to open the door. So it freed one of my hands, uh, which was great for me and something that I hadn't really thought of being an advantage is having this shoulder strap. So I really like that. And, um, it is a really hard carrier, um, but it's only about nine pounds, so it's not that heavy, but I mean, once you put a cat inside, it certainly is pretty heavy. And these guys are just for decor. Um, that's part of the put together process. And, Bob, you got an H over there? Excuse me, we're doing a video. Excuse me, excuse, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Can you help us do the video, sir? <laughs> Go in the ear, sirs. <laughs> I might have let that happen. <laughs> um, also, both of my cats have been totally fine with this uh, carrier. Neither one of them had an issue going in it to get from the get go, and um, still don't have an issue. I'll go get Trigs. Okay, so Trig actually is kind of a fat cat right now, and needs to lose some weight, as we found out at the vet today. But I actually already knew that. Um, and so he actually weighs more than Charlie, but he is a smaller cat in height. So that's kind of the hard thing about, you know, when they're like, Oh, it's going to fit a, a 15 pound cat or whatever. Then you're, I mean, it really depends on if the cat is horrendously overweight and what the size and length and all that kind of stuff is of the cat too. So Chiggy gets pretty freaked out by carriers because of the vet visits. This one didn't sound like a normal vet, um, carrier to him because it had no metal. So, um, but he fits totally fine in it as well. No issues. And like I said, when we first got it and had it for a while, you know, I leave it around the house and let him go in and explore it and check it out. And he was, he would go in there when we were throwing treats, he'd fly in there and, um, and want to, to be in there. So that's, um, that's a good thing is if they had been scared of the carrier from the get go, that would have been an issue. Here's the bottom in case anybody's interested. I don't know what advantages that has, but I'm sure there's some, and I think that's it. So my friends, this is the Hagen cat it. I'll put the mail side down first. Uh, Cabrio cat carrier and I'll include a link in the about section below to where you can buy it online I just pinched the heck out of my finger doing that one-handed so I would recommend it's taking everything out of me not to cry right now um, so I would recommend not do, doing that maybe try not putting this back together one-handed and um, sometimes when I make those kind of comments I think what if someone watching this only has one hand? And then that's, I mean, what do you say there? I don't know. I'm blessed with two hands. Um, so watch pinching yourself is the point of that. And I'm just sure you could pinch your cat if they weren't settled down in it. But I'll include a link in the about section below to where you can buy this online. I've also heard people say that they've been able to buy it at Petco and PetSmart. It's quite the hit with certain readers, and I'm going to include a link to our review in the about section because um, I've quoted readers. That's like Charlie's nose. <laughs> There's me, but Charlie's nose spots. Um, I'm going to include testimonials or uh, quotes that certain readers have said when they saw that we were reviewing this. They said, you know, oh, I have that carrier. I love it. Um, it's great for all my rag dolls. And I first discovered it. Um, through a reader in the UK who said that these carriers are quite popular over there. And I'm um, just looking at it now. 
my vet called it the spaceship today. She said another one of their clients has it and um, that she likes it just fine. It's not one of her favorite, but that it's great because it has that top access to get to the cat. And then that way you're not trying to dump the cat out of the carrier and making a stressful situation at the vet more stressful. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. The Cabrio by Catit Design, which is a Hagen company. Maybe it's Hagen. I don't even know. Maybe it's German and it's pronounced differently or something.